Hello students, welcome to Chemistry Portal. In today's video, we will solve an important PYQ from JEE Advanced 2024 on Chemical Kinetics. So first of all, read the question. A sample initially contains only U238 isotope of uranium. With time, some of the U238 radioactively decays into PV206. PV means lead. While the rest of it remains undisintegrated. Okay, fine. When the age of the sample is P into 10 power 8 years and they have given the ratio of mass of PV206 to that of uranium 238 in the sample is 7. Now they are asking the value of P. Okay, and and they have given the value half life also of U two thirty eight is how much four point five into ten power nine years and log two value is zero point six nine three. Okay, fine. So first of all, we know that radioactive decays follow the first order reaction. Okay, so first of all, write the reaction. Uranium two thirty eight dk2 and forms pv206 okay and suppose we have initial nucleide is n naught okay and this is zero and now after some time it forms n naught minus n and this is also n okay now this n naught means what nuclei okay or you can say nuclide understood but after some time from this one some some nuclide got disintegrated understood and this n will go here in the product side that is your pv206 fine now we know that from the first order reaction we have a formula to find the t so t equal to P equal to 1 by lambda ln n naught by n naught minus n. Right or not? This n naught in this n naught is what? This is your initial number of nuclide and this is your final number of nuclide in U238. Right? So in the question they are asking time, right? Time they have given p into 10 power 8, but we have to find the p. See here. And they have given the half-life also. So lambda. Lambda means what? Rate constant. Right or not? So we know that we have t half equal to t half equal to 0 0.693 by lambda. From here we can find the lambda also. Lambda equal to 0 0.693 by uh, so here the t half is given how much? 4.5 into 10 power 9. So we can write here 4.5 into 10 power 9. And from here we will get lambda after uh, calculation we got uh, uh, 0 0.693 by 4.5 we got uh, 1.54 into 10 power minus 10 okay this is our lambda so now see we got the lambda but uh, we don't have this value we don't have n1 we don't have n naught minus n value right so our main task is to find this value first then and only we can find the t Okay, lambda we know that, right? Okay, fine. Now, now they have given some, now in the question, they have given some extra information here. Ratio of mass they have given, okay? So, right here, uh, weight of, weight of PV206 by weight of uranium 238, this is given. 7 okay ratio so we can write here 7x by 
x okay because it is a ratio understood now see one very very important thing one very very important this n not is what this is your nuclide nuclide okay or you can say nuclei understood now very very important now we know that number of number of nuclide equal to number of atom clear this this is very very important number of atom equal to number of nuclide so our task is to find the number of nuclide but they have given we they have given weight right so we will find the number of atom by the help of weight okay so we know that here formula we know the formula number of moles number of moles equal to weight by molecular weight right or not we have one more formula of moles that is a number of atom number of atoms by avogadro number right so now find the number of atoms of pv and u okay so we can uh, so, so by this formula we can write here we can write here number of atom equal to what uh, weight into na by molecular weight right so similarly we can find for uh, uranium so number of atom in uranium 238 equal to weight how much weight is given here x so right here x into na by molecular weight that is 238 okay similarly right find for <coughs> pv so <coughs> sorry number of atom in pv 206 equal to how much weight here 7x so right here 7x into na by molecular weight is 206 right so these are the number of atom number of atom in pv right okay <coughs> now we know that <coughs> now we know that the number of nuclide equal to number of atom right okay fine now see now you tell me our task is to find the n not value and n not minus n value right so first of all we will find n not and n not minus n see here how to find now you tell me this this is your nuclide right so this value is what this value is is your n not minus n okay and this value is what this value is n understood because this is for pv see see here how much pv here n this is how much here at time this time how much n not minus n so this atom came here number of atom this is what n not minus n right so now we have to find the n not we got the n not minus n value we got the n not minus n value now we have to find the n not now you tell me if you add this value and this value then you will get a equal to n not right or not okay so right here just simply right here to find the n not to find the n not just simply add n not minus n plus n equal to n not right or not see here how why see means we have initial amount n not okay 
and uh, and out of n naught some nuclei got uh, disintegrated and form here if you add this value this remaining part and plus this part will gives this n naught value okay so that's why we are adding here n naught minus n plus n equal to n naught we will get okay so now just put the value of this value just put the value of this one and this one here okay right so we have value how much we have n naught minus n that is this one x into x into n a by 238 then plus plus n so n how much 7x into n a by 206 equal to n naught right now see now from here take common uh, x into n a common here so 1 by 238 plus 7 by 206 okay equal to n naught fine fine now our task is completed now we got the n naught value now we got the n naught minus n value now we have lambda value now we can find the t clear now we can find the t see here so just write the formula t equal to t equal to <coughs> 1 by lambda into ln n naught by n naught minus n right or not okay so now just put the value here t equal to 1 by lambda how much came here lambda came 1.54 into 10 power minus 10 right okay this one lambda so now just put the lambda value 1.54 into 10 power minus 10 right into ln now put the n naught value n naught so this is our n naught value this value is whole okay so this value put it here okay so now we can write here n naught value is what x into n a into 1 by 238 plus 7 by 206 right this is your n naught by by we have n naught minus n value so this is our value of n naught minus n sorry how much x into n a by 238 okay x into n a by 238 so write it here x into n a by 238 okay so now just calculate this value and then we will get the answer of t see here t equal to 1 1.54 1 by 1.54 into 10 power minus 10 here ln and because uh, this will get uh, cancel out x x na na cancel out and now then we can write uh, 1 by 238 plus 7 by 206 uh, uh, by into 238 right this is simple calculation math okay and now from here we can find the t value here how much uh, if you calculate here t value then t equal to 1 by 1.54 into 10 power minus 10 here ln and if you calculate this uh, uh, 1 by 238 uh, you will get uh, 0 0.0042 plus uh, if you do the calculation of 7 by 206 uh, you, you will get 0 0.0339 right and into 238 okay now t equal to 1 by 1.54 into 10 power minus 10 and uh, this value you will get uh, how much ln uh, let me add this value okay let me add this value 0 0.0 0 0.004 0 0 0 plus 0 0.0339 
it is coming uh, 0 0.0381 okay into 238 right and so into 238 it is coming 9.06 way so t equal to 1 by 1.54 into 10 power minus 10 here ln and this whole value came here 9.06 from here we can write ln 9.06 equal to it is coming uh, 2.20 okay it is coming 2.20 so 1.1 by 1.54 into 10 power minus 10 ln and this value came uh, how much uh, ln 9.06 9.06 we got 2.20 into 2.20 and from here you will get uh, 2, 2.20 divided by 1.54 you will get 1.42 right 42 ok 4 to 8 4 to 8 into 10 power 10 now you can shift the decimal you will get 140 142 into 10 power how much uh, 10 power 8 right ok so this is your final answer t equal to 142 approx into 10 power 8 year year so the p value is what? This is your p value, right? See here. See in the question. P into p into 10 power 8. And and we got here how much? 142 into 10 power 8. So it means uh, p equal to what? P equal to approximately uh, approx, uh, how much? 142. Okay? 142. This is our answer this question is very very important okay and uh, every year one or two questions uh, came from chemical kinetics from the J advance uh, in the J advance okay and uh, I hope you all understood this uh, problem and uh, so please uh, like share subscribe our chemistry portal thank you so much